Hi, dear colleagues. Congratulations. You have completed a flip online workshop called Asynchronous Learning Effective Online Presentation. Now, this time around, we conducted this workshop differently. We intentionally shifted the focus of instruction from the teacher, the instructor, to the learner and from our conventional instructor-centric to learner-centric. In simple terms, it means the responsibility for learning, this time, was in your hand, the learners. The framework of this workshop comprised of the following steps that you have undergone. Uh, we had a pre-workshop activity where you introduce yourself, then later on there was a welcoming text and a welcoming video. Then the first activity was that you used Padlet to conduct a discussion, and the topic at the time was uh, teaching and learning during MCO. Then you had your second activity, uh, entitled What is your preference, Padlet or Smart B3 Forum, or something else, and why, the reason why. And for your third activity, you created your own Padlet and you embedded it into Smart V3 or Smart 2 UMS. Then you also use Loom uh, to pre-record your lecture, and then you upload it to YouTube, and you also upload it to Smart V3. Activity 4, which was optional, that you produce a pre-recorded lecture with PowerPoint slides, and using Loom or any other familiar screen recorder. Activity 5, experiences in enhancing the effective uh, presentation. Mm -hmm. And there was a help desk where members of our community, COP, mutually support one another. Now, up to 14 uh, April uh, at 3.45 p.m., we have recorded the following contributors or responses in the respective uh, activities. Uh, in Activity 1, there were 97 contributors. In Activity 2, 101 contributors. Activity 3, 83 contributors. Activity 4, 34 contributors. And Activity 5, we have 53 contributors. I could see that all of you visited this site on different days, uh, different time, and you conducted all the activities individually at your own self-paced, self-access, and self-directed effort. Now, there were also just-in-time GIT step-by-step -step videos to support the completion of your assignments. From the 8 till 15 April, we were all members of a community. In fact, a virtual community. And we call it the Virtual COP, Virtual Community of Practitioners. We mutually shared and supported one another with our knowledge, our experiences, and our skills. Now, to me, this experience of a virtual COP is the most important takeaway from this workshop. Due to the need of social distancing to curb the spread of COVID-19, we, the educators, must unlearn and relearn the practice of this community of practitioners. The face-to-face -face community must now be replaced by the practice of a new norm, the virtual community of practitioners, the virtual COP. We have many different options of digital tools to support collaboration and facilitate uh, communication between teachers and learners and learners and learners for online synchronous and asynchronous mode. Now, within the limitation of available tools and bandwidth, I hope we are bold to innovate rules to regulate effective interaction among ourselves and our students and students and students that leads to a meaningful learning environment that leads to a meaningful social interaction taking place among our students and ourselves, and bringing in something called meaningful social constructivist learning ecosystem. I shall keep this site open so that you can continue to visit the many posts uh, by our fellow colleagues and mutually learn from one another. Now, I've also prepared a post-workshop survey so please provide your feedback on how we could further improve our online workshop in UMS. Thank you.